Hi there everyone, welcome to Tech Cravers. In this video I'm gonna show you how to set up and get going with PS3 games on your Steam Deck. A few things first though. I'm gonna anticipate that you have already installed the RPC S3 emulator, which is the PS3 emulator that we are gonna use in this video. The RPC S3 emulator can be installed manually by downloading it from their site, or you can simply install it via the Emudeck installer, which I have recently made a tutorial on. So pause this video and go check that out first if you haven't already installed RPC S3. I recommend install it via Emudeck by the way, as Emudeck will help you with most configurations. Second, you're gonna need to have your games ready somewhere. I have my own PS3 dumps on my external hard drive, which I'm gonna use in this video. How you obtain your games is something you'll have to find out yourself by using Google, as I won't provide any links in this tutorial. Now then, click on the Steam button on your Steam Deck, scroll down to power and click on desktop mode so we can get this started. Now the first thing I'm gonna do when I'm in desktop mode is to plug in my external drive with all my games on. I'm using an USB-C adapter since that's the only port I have on my Steam Deck. My external drive pops up and yours should as well. Click on mount and open and then locate your PS3 game files. Next we're gonna open the folder on our Steam Deck where we're gonna place our PS3 games. This is where it helps if you have installed RPC S3 via Emudeck, since it will prepare a folder for you where you should put them. For me, it's on my micro SD card, under Emulation, then ROMs, and then PS3. And once you have that located, go back to your games on your external drive, copy the games, and then paste them in the folder we just located. The reason you want to copy and not cut is because you probably want the games to be left on your external drive as well. Now, PS3 games are large and this is gonna take a really long time depending on how many games you're gonna copy. For me, with my five games, it took about 30 minutes. But there is actually a thing you can do while we wait for the games to be copied. That is to prepare our emulator with original PS3 firmware. So go ahead and launch your browser and type rpcs3.net in the address field. Once there, click on Quick Start in the upper menu, scroll down to Software Requirements. And the visual pack is for Windows only, so you can skip that. But you're gonna wanna click on the PlayStation 3 system software. And here, Sony will actually provide us with their latest original PS3 software. In this case, it's the update 4.90. Scroll down to how to reinstall PS3 console system software, right click on the blue button with the installation file and click save as. Choose a download path, I'm gonna go with desktop. And then I need to allow my browser to download the file, which has to do with my security settings. It's possible that you don't have to do that. When the download is complete, close your browser and open up your RPC S3 emulator. Now once again, I installed it via Emudeck, and in case I haven't made it clear enough, I really recommend that you do that as well. And as you can see, the emulator has already picked up one of the games we are currently transferring to the PS3 ROMs folder, and that's thanks to Emudeck configuring the game path for us. But to install the firmware we just downloaded, click on File and then Install Firmware. Locate your firmware named ps3updat.pup and click Open. The installation will take a minute or two and once that is done, you have to wait for the rest of the games to be copied into your PS3 ROMs folder. Once the transfer is complete, go ahead and click on Refresh in the emulator and your games will show up. If a game has a weird folder name or simply is in the wrong folder in the PS3 ROMs folder, it won't show up. But there's a simple fix for this. You can just locate the ROMs folder and drag and drop the titles to make them show up. Like I'm doing here with the MGS Legacy Edition. Now there are a few things we need to do. First, we can set the global settings for our emulator that will apply to every game that we don't set a custom game configuration for. So go to configuration and then click on GPU. Make sure that the renderer is set to Vulkan and the graphics device is set to Rad V Van Gogh. Emudeck will do this as well for you. Most other settings can be left as is, since we're gonna make custom configurations for most games anyway, but one thing I like to change is to tick the bright color buffers and asynchronous texture streaming. Click on apply and then save and you're okay to go. Now to game patches and custom game configurations. RPC S3 has a compatibility list where they list everything that's good to know for each and every playable PS3 game out there. And of course I'm gonna leave a link to that in the video description. 
Simply type the name for the game that you're gonna play and then click on the title. This will take you to a wiki page for that game with all sorts of smart tweaks and configurations that will enhance the performance for that specific game. Simply click on the game you want to configure and click create custom configuration. So for Skate 3 in this case we learned that the preferred SPU should be set to 1, 2 or 3 as well as a few other things. One last thing I want to mention here is game patches. Game patches are community made tweaks that will improve gaming even more. Right click on a game and select manage game patches. Make sure you're connected to internet and then click download latest patches. If there are any patches for that specific version of that specific game, it will be listed here. For Skate 3, I have these options and I will select the 60 FPS patch. Click on Apply and then on Save. Now we want to make sure that the controller is configured the right way. Click on Pads and under Handlers it should say EvDeck and under Devices it should say Microsoft Xbox 360 Pad 0. And before we use Steam RAW Manager to make this game appear in the Steam Deck's gaming mode, I like to launch the game from desktop mode just to see that everything is working as intended. And the first time you boot a PS3 game there is a lot of shaders and modules that will need to load and this will take some time. But every time you play the game after this, this process will become faster and faster. So let's say the game worked as intended, now it's time to add it to our library. Open up the Emudeck installer or Steam RAW Manager manually if you don't have installed everything via Emudeck. Once in the ROM manager, select all the emulators you want to show up in the gaming mode. Once you have done that, click on preview and then on parse. Steam manager will now fetch all the games that you have currently in your game ROMs folders, including the PS3 games we just added. Once you're happy with all the box art, you can click on save to Steam. I have other videos going through more in depth on how to use Steam ROM manager, so go check those out if you think that this is going too fast. When you log back into gaming mode on your Steam Deck, your games should be added to your library and look just as any other Steam game. So go ahead and launch your PS3 game and you'll notice that since this is the second time you're starting the game, the module's progress already is a lot faster than before. And I wanted to show you this on my actual Steam Deck and not through my capture card, so I'm sorry about the video quality. But as you can see, Skate 3 is pretty much locked to 60 FPS and it's really great on Steam Deck. Other PS3 games I love to play on Steam Deck are the various HD collections of older games, like the MGS Legacy Edition with Snake Eater HD as you can see here. It runs in 60fps through most of the game with a few dips down to 50. Keep in mind though what I said before that most PS3 games, including this, needs custom game configuration to run smoothly. Luckily you only have to do it once and then it's saved forever. And that's been it for my guide on how to get your PS3 games running on the RPCS3 emulator on Steam Deck. I hope you enjoyed the video and that it might have helped you out. If it did, make sure to like it or give me a comment down below. If you want more content like this in your feed, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell. Thanks for watching, catch you in the next one.